Broadleaf plantains, not the kind we eat, are perennial weeds that easily spread and continue to grow back year after year when not properly dealt with. These plants will grow in many places and can be found along roadsides, other disturbed areas, and lawns. In this video, we'll go over how to identify broadleaf plantain, how to eliminate them from your property, and how to prevent their growth in the upcoming seasons. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Broadleaf plantains grow in rosette formations. The leaves form a circular shape, all emerging from the same spot in the ground. The leaves themselves are large and ovular in shape, and they have three to five prominent veins each. From the center of the plant, broadleaf plantains grow stems that can be two to seven inches in height. These stems will grow many small green flowers. As the plant matures, the flowers develop into seed capsules. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Broadleaf plantains are creeping perennial weeds that will grow in residential or commercial properties. This plant grows well in wet, compacted soil that sees full or partial sunlight throughout the day. So inspect those areas on your property and note where the weeds are growing. Broadleaf plantain emerges from late spring to fall, with flowers developing from June to September. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products dry completely. Due to the plant's taproot, manual removal is not enough to eliminate broadleaf plantains. It's easy for a small piece of the taproot to break off and remain in the soil, resulting in the plant growing back. To eliminate a plantain infestation on your property, you'll want to apply a post-emergent herbicide that includes plantain on its label. To kill broadleaf plantains growing in cool season lawns, we recommend 2,4-Diamine. The labeled application rate for spot treatments with this product is 3.16 pints of concentrate per one acre. For smaller applications, this breaks down to 1.1 fluid ounces of concentrate applied over 1,000 square feet. To kill broadleaf plantains growing in non-lawn areas, you may have to use Eraser 41% glyphosate. Be aware that this product is a non-selective herbicide and will kill any plant it is applied to. Eraser is best used to control weeds growing in areas where plants shouldn't be, like along roadsides or in the cracks and crevices of pavement. This product's mix rate is 2.5 fluid ounces mixed into one gallon of water to treat up to 300 square feet. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld pump sprayer. When using a non-selective herbicide like Eraser, be sure to label your sprayer explicitly for non-selective herbicide use to prevent cross-contamination in the future. Spot treat any broadleaf plantains you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. A follow-up application may be necessary if signs of recovery are observed, especially if the plant's taproot is still alive. Reapplication intervals with 2,4-Diamine range from 21 to 30 days. A reapplication with eraser may be made after 4 weeks. Applications are most effective when plants are newly emerged before flower formation. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. One of the best ways to control broadleaf plantain after it's been eliminated from your property is to mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick, growing density. A lawn dense with taller, trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and prevent them from establishment. We also recommend promoting the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Consider applying a fertilizer like Solutions 15-510 Weed and Feed with Trimac. This is a slow-release fertilizer that will provide lawns with essential nutrients and fight against weed development. With a push spreader, evenly distribute 3.2 to 4 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet. In addition to fertilizing, you can also reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches, rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. 
Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop unwanted plants like broadleaf plantain from taking over your turf, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.